If you want cheap Microsoft points and game codes, check out g2a.com. Link is in the description below. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a squad builder. I haven't done one of these in ages, like literally months, and I apologize for that. I'll try and bring them back weekly. But anyway, it's going to be built around four new transfers. So in there, we've got Courtois, who's 12k. Like The prices of these players are just absolutely stupid. Um, on the left, we've got Naldo. And then on the right, we go with our first upgraded player, and that's going to be Kurt Zuma. Now, he's probably a lot cheaper now. I bought mine for, like, 4K, which is still unbelievably cheap. And now, yep, he's literally 2, 3K. Naldo, 4K, probably a bit cheaper now. Like, it, it's crazy how much these players are. This one, however, cost me a hell of a lot, and he'll be probably half price by now. I bought mine for 45K. What does he go for now? Yeah, he's, he's probably around 20 20 to 25k for Bellerin, but 95 pace I had to try him out and uh, yeah I built this team quite a while ago. It, at left back we've got a non-rare Wendell, very very solid, 800 coins, can probably get him for a bit cheap, uh, a bit cheaper, 86 pace and yeah he's a very very good option to have in the squad. Then CDM we go with this French guy who I've never used before, G Gula Viago. Now I'll go through every player in the highlights like I usually do, but yeah, this guy is a rock, honestly, really, really good, and obviously he's in there for that French and that um, Brazilian, well, not Brazilian, sorry, that Wolfsburg link, to link with both the centre-backs, and he is really, really solid. The next player we've got, if I can find him, we'll put um, the, well, I've put him on the wrong side, but we've got Coquelin as a centre-mid, and then the other centre-mid we've got, if I can find him, have I put the right... Uh, stuff in. I don't think I have, have I? I think he might be a CD. Oh no, there he is. Whoops, my bad. Bender. So we've got um, two relatively defensive centre mids who we've pushed, well, they're CDMs and we've put them to centre mid and they do work very well. As the cam, we go with, if I can find him. Oh, I should have had this all done, shouldn't I? You know what, we'll put the strikers in first, and then we'll we'll focus on the cam. The two strikers are the two upgraded players, as you can probably guess. We've got Hernandez there, and then we go with Marcial's upgrade. Now, both of these are really, really cheap, probably a lot cheaper now. 10k for Marcial. Um, yeah, he's, wow, he's like 5, 6k. And uh, Hernandez is, is probably a lot cheaper than what I bought him for, 10k. Yeah, he's, he's probably around 5k-ish. And then the cam we go with is actually a striker and he's silver and it's going to be Kingsley Coleman who works as a cam, he really does. 8k, he, he's going for roughly about that. So in all in all this team probably costs around 50k give or take 10k so I'm just going to call it a 50k team. It's very very good and I'll tell you why in the highlights. Right so the team in general is very solid. I'd say for some reason the defence Although the players individually are very good, they don't seem to work together. Um, the only problem I've got with Bellerin's upgrade is that he seems fairly weak. I mean, he's got brilliant pace, he tracks back very well, and he can defend if he's in the right position. But when you're trying to bomb forward, he can easily get caught purely because his strength isn't that good. And it's a little bit irritating. Apart from that, though, I'd say the defense is, is fairly good, but they just... It seemed to have no cohesion, so sometimes it leaves gaps in it, but individually the players are solid. The CDM, honestly, try him out if you haven't. He was a rock. He managed to get forward sometimes for me, score, assist. He was very, very good, and he's just exactly what you want in that holding defensive midfield role. And he does stop a lot of the things that, you know, some of the mistakes that the defenders do make. Coquelin and Bender as centre mids kind of work well as well. Both have a solid pass range, I suppose, and they're, they're defensive as well, so it helps a bit more. And then the three attackers, you just let them loose. Coleman as a cam works superbly. He's got fantastic passing, and um, he, he just he, he works. He knows when to be ahead of the strikers and when not to. And Hernandez and Martial work very well together. I've got to say, Martial seems a lot better than Hernandez. That isn't me being biased, but generally, probably because of the massive upgrade Martial had. Like, Hernandez deserved a huge upgrade, and yes, he got two overall ratings, but his stats increases were like minimalistic and it doesn't feel too much different than his normal card so what i'm saying is hernandez is as good 
as his normal card, but not better, in my opinion. Martial, though, is so much better than his 77 rated. And Coleman is fantastic as well, if you haven't tried him out. Um, obviously, the only silver on the team, but he doesn't feel like a silver. He feels like a low rated gold or, well, I'd say, you know, the same rating as you know Hernandez Martial so 79 to 82 rated very very solid forward line and for 50k you can't really go wrong obviously the upgrades will go down and down and down particularly Bellerin he'll eventually settle at about 5 10k so uh, if you want to wait for that then by all means do it but it's a solid team I suggest you try it out let me know what you think in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace